Or Jamie Spears claiming his pop star daughter at just 26 years old has dementia. Jamie Spears files a petition to take control of Britney's life and amazingly gets a court to agree. Britney Spears cannot even defend herself because she's basically kept away from her own court hearing after her doctor claims she is unfit to attend. This marks the beginning of Britney Spears' descent into conservatorship hell. No one could have predicted how long Britney would suffer trapped by this one ruling until literally an army of supporters, outsiders, not her own family, inspire a movement to challenge the conservatorship that no one saw coming. But how did a pop star, a superstar, a worldwide sensation making millions of dollars every year become in effect a prisoner? The truth is it happens every day. Someone finds themselves thrown into a guardianship or a conservatorship that turns into jail. We investigate a system that allegedly stinks of corruption and learn, like Britney Spears, here in our country, the so-called land of the free, many say they or their loved ones have their freedom ripped away. You spoke to Britney about us talking today, right? I did. What did she say? She just said, give Nancy 30 minutes in the room with my daddy and he'll be crying. That's what she said. Guardianship, or in some states, conservatorship, is intended to protect the ward or the conservatee, like Brittany. But as we all know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Can anyone become a prisoner of the system, even though they've never committed a crime? Yes, including one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Leanne Spears, Britney Spears' aunt, and Jamie Spears' sister, opens our eyes to the injustices heaped onto Britney Spears. Leanne is not the family spokesperson and openly discusses her own recent psychiatric stay. She has a front row seat to niece Britney's struggle. I'm trying to figure out when everything went sideways. How did the whole conservatorship start? He stepped in at her weakest moment, put her in her conservatorship. Give me three feet, boy. I mean, you know, she had a nervous breakdown. Everybody in Hollywood seems to have a nervous breakdown. But that doesn't mean you're a slave for 13 years. Jamie has controlled Britney since day one. He has resented everything about her, all her fame, all her fortune. He would be like, now I'm Britney Spears. Once he got in the conservatorship. Jamie Spears said the words, hey, I'm Britney Spears now. He said, I'm, I'm Britney Spears now. Britney Spears herself confirms Leanne's account in a now deleted YouTube post. I think the main thing I do remember when it was started was my dad's control. He loved to control every thing I did. I remember the first day he said, I'm Britney Spears and I'm calling the shots. How much do you think her father made off being her conservator? I read $6 million. That's a lot of money. It is. Britney Spears makes four studio albums and performs three worldwide tours during the conservatorship, despite being diagnosed, according to court documents, with dementia. Where was the mother during all those 13 years? Did she just go along with it? You know, I, I didn't think so. But after talking to Brittany, um, she told me it was Lynn's idea. We contacted Lynn Spears, who did not respond when asked if the conservatorship was her idea. And my mom actually helped him follow through and made it all happen. But she told me it was gonna be like, she didn't say it, like a quick fix, but temporary. Dad Jamie Spears gets many extensions of Britney's conservatorship, and the temporary situation suddenly has no foreseeable end date. Britney puts her pain on the record in a tell-all documentary. If I wasn't under the restraints that I'm under right now, I'd feel so liberated. They hear me, but they're really not listening.
before you know it. Your conservator may not only control all your money, but also basic decisions like where you live, your medical treatment, if any, even getting or keeping your driver's license, buying a house, even your birth control. It controls whether you vote. It's argued that even convicted felons have more rights than people trapped in a conservatorship. You had worked in a jail and actually said that the inmates had more rights than Brittany did. What did you mean by that? They could do, you know, pretty much anything they wanted to do. Brittany didn't have that at all. Just confined. Brittany Spears' horrific situation has shed light beyond belief. Activist Hillary Hogue is at war with the system, battling elder abuse and helping free people that are entangled in a web of alleged exploitation. When you are a vulnerable individual at a low ebb in your life, you're elderly, maybe you're sick, you are a target, especially when you have money and you can't fight back. I am proud to fight on a daily basis to stop the madness that is happening to innocent American citizens. So the first step to being put into a guardianship would be someone would go to an attorney and they would make allegations and a petition would be filed. Some of the hearings are closed to the public. It is the deception of protection. If the public knew, they would not believe it. The process varies state to state. Typically, once the guardianship petition is filed, the courts hold a hearing and they appoint a committee, including a doctor, to evaluate if the person has the capacity to make decisions. Very often, only the court-appointed lawyer attends these hearings, not the client. If the court decides a person's incapacitated, a guardian is appointed. Taking control over everything happens when you are deemed awarded. You have absolutely no say in anything medical, financial, or otherwise. The control that Hope describes is something she witnesses firsthand through her father's guardianship, from which he is ultimately freed. Meanwhile, Britney Spears battles to figure out how many millions of dollars her estate, through the conservatorship, actually paid so many people over the years. What's up, Vegas? I've been thinking a lot about her residency in Vegas. Did she want that? No. No, they worked her. I was a machine. I was a f***ing machine not even human, they literally killed me. They basically worked her. Um, she did rehearsals, she did the whole thing, but she could not like get a massage, she could not go to a restaurant. Talk about isolation. And you know, the dancers are playing and drinking and having fun at nights in Vegas and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go where I wanted to go. I couldn't have cash. Um, and it was just demoralizing. There was a time your daughters went to Vegas to see Brittany, mm -hmm. but they were stopped and told they couldn't even talk to her backstage. Yep. They were texting Brittany and asking to see Brittany, and Brittany said, no, my dad said, I cannot see y'all. So they were given backstage passes, but they were still not allowed to see Brittany. By whom? Jamie. Me and my sister were just kind of just taken back. Like, this has never been an issue before. Like, I remember being really little and being in California when she had concerts and we would always go backstage. We'd say hi and give her a hug and watch her show and we would go home. So we were expecting that we were gonna be able to see Brittany and tell her hi and that we loved her and he didn't want us around her. He told us we couldn't, and we said, okay. What did Brittany say? She just kept saying she was sorry, like it was her fault. Imagine being the headline act in Vegas, a superstar performing in front of thousands of people every night. Yet, when the lights are cut off on stage, you are forced back into isolation, 
and you're told you can't even see your own family. Being in a guardianship is like being an animal in a cage. Al Katz, a Holocaust survivor, revisits his trauma after being forced into a guardianship, apparently at the recommendation of one of his doctors. Beverly Newman is his daughter. In the Holocaust, my dad lost his parents, his little brother, his sister, his baby niece that was one month old. He lost everything. And what triggered him in guardianship was that he had no contact with the people he loved. All of Mr. Katz's decisions are, again, made by a court-appointed stranger. Finally, thank God, I was appointed guardian, but obviously he was never going to be able to be the same person that he was before guardianship. A daughter fighting for her father's rights certainly feels more humane than a father fighting to take his daughter's rights away. Dad Jamie Spears, the conservator, daughter Britney Spears, the conservatee. Ironically, Britney Spears' own father becomes the one stopping her from getting what she wants most in the world, another baby. When did you learn about the birth control permanently in her that a doctor has to remove? A few years ago. If she had wanted to have a baby, she would have, but she didn't. So there has to be a reason she didn't. She couldn't. Which makes me believe the claim she had an IUD in her that she could not get out. As if that's not enough, Spears testifies through tears. She is put on lithium, which she says makes her feel drunk. The dosing allegedly due to Spears' refusal to perform another Vegas residency. When I heard that Brittany was put on lithium, I was like, oh, wait, oh, whoa. Wow. I mean, like, that's just crazy shit. I mean, you just don't do that to people, you know? Like, we're human beings. Jamie Spears has not been implicated in any misconduct regarding Brittany's medication. Overmedication is one method a guardian may use to keep tight control over their ward. According to elder care and guardianship abuse experts, another method is sensory deprivation. Imagine taking away someone's hearing aids, their wheelchair, their dentures, leaving them barely functional, completely stripping them of any dignity. The last time I saw my father was in April 2018. Lisa Martino's father, Dominic, she obviously does not agree. The Free Britney movement, you guys rock. Honestly, my voice was muted and threatened for so long and um, I wasn't able to speak up or say anything because of you. I honestly think you guys saved my life in a way. 100%. I wish there was a Britney Spears when I was um, thinking about putting my father in a guardianship because I, if I would have known about it, I would have ran. We are forever indebted to Britney Spears and the Free Britney movement. I'm here to be an advocate for people with real disabilities and real illnesses. We are in touch with Britney and we just try to be there to support her and love her and encourage her. And that's the only reason I'm here. That's my girl. This girl will always find her way. A new way. The megastar, finally free from conservatorship, literally tells her mother, go F yourself. And her father, burn in hell. We continue our investigation of conservatorship abuse in its worst forms, and we wait as justice unfolds.